This 13th floor video session is powered by The Rock Shop. Hi, welcome to the 13th floor. I'm Marty Duda. Today we have Gareth Thomas with us. How are you, how are you doing, man? Hello, pretty good. Nice, nice to, be to get you up here finally. Yeah, yeah. You got a new album out, newish album, Fizzy Milk. It's been out. Yeah, uh, been out a couple of weeks, three, three weeks. weeks, four weeks, yeah. something like that. Yeah, I saw you at the um, at the Whammy Bar a few weeks ago. Yeah, that's right. That was the album release party. Yes, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. pretty cool. And I have to ask you about your outfit that you were wearing at that time. Ah, point. that's right. I had, I had some fancy pants on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was it was half the costume from the music video, which is about to come out next month. Oh, cool. So, so uh, without giving too much away, it's a big, big hairy suit. Um, that's actually from the military. Uh -huh. So they use they call it a ghillie suit, and they hide in the snow with it. And it, you look like a yeti. Oh, is that right? So I didn't do the full yeti. It was just it's the pants down because it gets rather hot under the stage lights. I can imagine the full yeah. yeti suit. It reminded me of another music video. It reminded me of David Bowie's Ashes to Ashes. So. Oh, you said that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I actually looked it up after that, and I thought, oh, that's a nice comparison. It may not. Look, it's just in my mind. It reminds me. No, of no, it's, it's nice to be compared. <laughs> yeah, there's worse things to be compared to. So fizzy milk. Yeah. What's the concept behind fizzy milk? The concept behind fizzy milk is um, it's fizzy is fizzy in a good way. It's um, right. it's experimental. It was ex it was ex it was the idea came from seeing some kids put milk in a soda stream. Right. And just that experimentation, that, that fun, um, started the whole idea. And the, the idea of fizzy milk is I wanted to do an album that was pop music, but it was wholesome as well at the same time. Mm -hmm. So so it has the fizz and bang of pop, but it won't rot your guts. You uh -huh. know? It's, it's, it's a nourishing album, and it's very <laughs> pop. Yeah. And how do you measure the wholesomeness of your music? <laughs> uh, I, I write the contents and the, the, right, and the right. nutrition values <laughs> at, the, at the bottom. That's excellent. <laughs> well, I felt better after uh, hearing it, so it must be working. Oh, that's good. I'm pleased to hear. <laughs> <laughs> and I, haven't, I haven't gained weight since it's a... <laughs> um, Now, you're going to perform a few songs for a solo, yeah, but yeah. The, the album itself was recorded with the folks that you were performing with at the show, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, mostly except... Um, there was um, Scott Mason who played in Gasoline Cowboy who recorded with us, but um, Tom Broom's taken his place. Right. Thought I'd just add that. Yeah. yeah. And where did you record the album? Um, I recorded the album, did the drum tracking in the lab right. and the brass tracking because I couldn't fit drums and brass in my bedroom and the rest was recorded in my bedroom. Yeah. Okay. Now the first song that we're going to hear is So Unbelievable, I believe. Yeah, that's right. What can you tell me about that one? That one, it was... Uh, I wanted to, I was actually listening to Total Eclipse of the Heart oh, okay. and I decided I wanted to do an epic ballad. So, <laughs> so it won't be as epic without the band today. The band's right. all got the flu at the moment, but I'll do the broken down piano version of it. Do mm -hmm. you yeah. have a certain affinity for uh, big power ballads? Oh, I'd never written one before, so, so yeah. I thought I'd just do an emotional, melancholy song. It's got a great beat with um, when, when the band's there, but right. that's on the album. Yeah. And you have to kind of put yourself in some kind of different state, uh, emotional state in order to write a, a song like that? Yeah, you do. It's probably the it's probably the saddest song on the album, but it's got an uplifting beat, so, okay. so I've got it in there. If it's got a good beat, that'll yeah. solve all the problems. All right, well, let's give it a listen. So unbelievable. Then we'll come back and talk some more. Some emphatic fraud And you're right 
and able. I could change tomorrow. I could change right now. Why does that sound so unbelievable? All right, we're back here with Gareth Thomas, and the next couple of tunes that we're going to hear are from the previous album, yeah. which is called Lady Alien. That's right. And so, what circumstances are different between the, the two albums? How would you... That's a good call, because um, the first album I wrote just after Good Shirt um, right. broke up. I, I was playing a Good Shirt, and um, I was a bit down about that. Right. So I wrote a bit, bit of an introspective, more melancholy album. Mm -hmm. And it was a darker album, and um, I just wanted to try a different direction away from Good Shirt and something that was something new, and that that was that album. And where's the new one, the Fizzy Milk album? I'm just mm -hmm. having fun with it again. Yeah. But uh, Good Shirt does tend to perform every once in a while these days. Don't we they? do, we do, um, we do perform, but we're not writing at the moment. So uh -huh. this is my outlet now. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. So is it, is is yeah. that something you'd like to be doing? Or yeah, yeah, I have, I have so much fun playing. Yeah. With Good Shirt again. Um, yeah, I think I saw you guys at the Tuning Fork uh, about a yeah. year or so ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've been doing a few shows. Yeah. yeah. It just was sort of like a reunion show every six months. <laughs> <laughs> so we break up six months and get back together. <laughs> and is it just because you guys are doing other stuff? And Yeah, well, the, the Rodney's a dad and, um, and there's all sorts of things going on in the right. background, you know. Right. You, but yeah, I'm not a dad, so I make music. Ah, there you go. <laughs> All right, so the two songs that we're going to hear from Middle Lady Alien is the title track and one called Turn. Ah, that's right. And the, the title track, Lady Alien, it's called Miss Metabolism sometimes, but it's actually the title track for the album. And um, that was a song about a girlfriend from out of space, sort of based on a true story. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the other song called Turn is... It's a song that um, I heard in a dream, actually. Woke up in the morning and thought, oh, that was a dream. That must be my song. And I recorded it quickly uh -huh. that day. And um, it's pretty much recorded straight after I woke up. I didn't really sit down and think too much through. So it was something I heard in a dream. I don't think I pinched it from anyone. Does it happen very often <laughs> that you get them kind of fully formed like that? Occasionally you do. That was probably the most fully formed one. I, I looked it up, and that often happens quite a lot in the... I was reading about the Beatles doing that, and they right. were getting a bit worried that they'd stolen it from somewhere. Like I think yesterday, that's how, I think that's how Keith like came up with the riff for Satisfaction, too. He oh, right, right. Of woke up the next morning, and there it was, and didn't know yeah. where it came from. So, All right, well, let's give these uh, guys a listen, and we'll come back and okay. do a little bit more. Miss Metabolism With more muscle than me we were making sweet talk, but she wanted to eat. I cooked a TV dinner, I cooked it on a beach. We were going a la 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 la, but she wanted to sleep. Got tied up in pillows, they pressed in my eyes. Her body and a condo. Lady alien, lady alien, 
back one more time with Gareth Thomas and the the final song that we're going to hear from you All Eyes in the Room is one that's been nominated for Silver Scroll is that right? That's right yeah. So how does that make you feel? Is that an important thing to you? Oh it's good I love the Silver Scrolls it's, it's my favorite musical evening of the year. Oh you know? yeah? It's, it's, it's a good thing um, especially when it focuses on the musicians and I like it how some lesser known musicians will be invited to perform the songs of the nominees right. and it's that's a good thing, and um, Don McGlashan will always do a very motivating speech. Which he does do a good gets me speech. Inspired. He's great, yeah. eh? Yeah, yeah. And who would you like to hear perform your song? Oh, wow, well, I haven't even thought of that. I, this, I, it could be done quite dark, like a murder ballad, sort of like it in okay. the cave way. I'd right. be interested if someone would want to do that. But. Maybe Nick will show up, <laughs> who knows? Maybe in town, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, but but uh, you've also got a new single 
this is the current single, I believe, but you, you've got one wallow that's happening and you're doing oh, some yeah. music videos and stuff. So yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like you're, like you're pretty busy and do you, you consider putting a, a single out an important part of the whole process? Yeah, it's, 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 there's a lot about the songs these days. Um, so I decided to do an album of singles, basically. This is uh -huh. what this album is. It's um, going to be releasing a few more. Um, the, the current one, All Eyes in the Rooms, it's a bouncy one and it's been, it's been getting out there. It's mm -hmm. a, just, a, just a, experimenting with just putting out songs. Right. And um, yeah, they and, travel. And the video for Wallow, what have you got planned for that? And the video for Wallow, that's the one with the big Yeti suit. Oh, that's the Yeti suit. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah. And it's a, it's a, we filmed it out on the desert road. We got some amazing weather and we had a couple of drones flying around and um, yeah, really pleased with it. Cool. So you got some shows possibly coming in the summertime, right? Yeah, just looking to book some things. Nothing confirmed yet, but we'll be announcing that. So keep an eye out for that. We'll see how you do it. Silver Scrolls, when are those announced? I don't know when they're announced. They're around September, months. though. Yeah, the September. Event. So, well, good luck with that. And yeah. we'll close out with uh, a version of All Eyes in the Room. Thanks Cheers. for coming. Thank you. I see you talking. I see you holding the room alive. All eyes in the room on you I'm not at your party I'm at your window across your street You're working that smile you used to say for me Oh yeah in the room.